So this workout has three big focuses, all of which are huge ones for younger hoopers and experienced ones alike. Those are reactive ball handling, finishing with contact, and balanced shooting. This was without a doubt a crazy high energy session. My guys in Melbourne really killed it. So I'm excited for you to learn and pick up some new tools. Shout out to my guy Dodo for bringing me out as well. Let's get to it. Hey, welcome. We got, we got Cole here. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys know him. He's going to buy a new glass of ball. Cole's going to take the session today. He's going to take the lead. We're going to work out for an hour. And for those of you that want to stay back, we're going to scrimmage that too. All right, let's get to it. I don't want to say much. We only got an hour, so I want to hear you guys' suggestions. Obviously, I have stuff that we can work on, but if there's anything where you guys are like, yo, I want to work on finishing with contact. I want to work on certain shots in the mid-range. Let me know now, because it's pretty easy to kind of cater the workout to you guys. Handles, we'll do some of that for sure. For sure, we'll kind of get warmed up with that. Nah, finishing with contact is good. We'll, we'll, we'll go into that a little bit, or a good amount. We'll go handles, finishing with contact. Shooting. What type of shooting, though? Gotta be specific. Gotta be specific. Off the dribble in what way? I know. Screen. Off the screen, so coming off a ball screen. I'll okay. Working on balance. Yeah. Okay. Balance off Different the dribble. Type of shots off the dribble. Bet. Okay. So footwork in the shot. Perfect. All right. So we'll get into a good amount of shooting as well. Does everyone have a basketball? Amazing. All right. Let's partner up real quick. We're gonna go some partner ball handling stuff. Oh, we'll get you one. We'll make it work. Getting kind of warmed up. Uh, let's have you guys demonstrate. So come out here. All right, you guys are going really wide with your base, so you're right here. We'll have one partner that's in charge, the other one's following them, all right? If I'm in charge, I'm trying to shift my weight side to side. If I'm following, I'm just trying to stay in front of them. So if I shift this way, they shift this way. If I shift, I can go back and forth. I can go slower, faster. By the end of like the 30 seconds, you guys want to be really sinking into those low positions. All right, try it real quick. So let's say you're in charge, you're following. It doesn't matter the dribble or anything, just really shift. So look, focus more so, time, time, focus more so on the shift. So if I'm going here, I'm not worried as much about the dribble, I'm just shift, shift, all right? And making them stay in front of where I am. Shift, Make sense? Okay. All right, let's try it one more time. Kind of slower with that dribble, just shift, shift. So think about moving your upper body side to side a little bit, and then you got to stay in front. All right, so just mirror where their upper body is, shift that weight, let's go. I'll say switch, then the other partner will be in charge. Let's go. Yep, stay in front of them. Stay right in front of that chest. Big shift, big shift. Switch partners. I want to do it one more time. We'll add something into it this time. We'll go one more time, but I want you really focusing on moving this, all right? So instead of just being here, I'm shifting, shifting. Now, when I'm with my partner, so let's say you're my, or you have a ball, so we'll go right here. All right, if I'm in charge, I can make a move in either direction, you gotta go the opposite way, right? So if you're following where I'm at here, you're trying to stay in front of me, boom. If I make this move, you gotta go opposite of me. All right, and then we'll just flip around and get right back into it. Make sense? So let's try right here. Stay in front of me. I'm shifting this way, so if I shift this way, you shift in front. Yep, there we go. Boom. I can make this. Boom. He's got to go, and then now we're right back into it. Same thing. Make sense? Let's go. 30 seconds here. Yeah, that's solid. Switch partners. Other partners in charge. Other partners in charge. Good. All right, watch up here. Now, you guys will both be dribbling, all right? Your feet are locked in place, so you're not allowed to move your feet. If you steal the ball from your partner, you get a point. So don't get it stolen. Easy as that. All right, you can use your off arm to protect. You can avoid it, however. Let's watch them real quick. Yep, yep, keep those feet locked in. Oh yeah, got him, that's one. That's two, yes sir. We got it, let's go. Use that off arm to protect, shift it to protect, however you want to. Is it just one person trying to steal? Both you guys, both you guys. Both of you guys are trying to steal. Both of you guys are trying to steal. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 10, nine, eight. Now, you guys are gonna demonstrate for me. 
Your goal is to get as little dribbles as possible. So we're just going kind of fast with it. Now we're gonna slow it down as much as possible. So 20 seconds, let's say, you gotta get maybe 10 dribbles in that 20 seconds. So that's gonna look like this, where I'm really trying to float the ball here. You can switch up the move. But now I'm trying to get as little dribbles, without carrying it, of course, in 20 seconds. Make sense? You can look at your partner here, kind of compete to see who's getting less dribbles and dribbling slower. Nah, don't worry about that. Good question. Don't try to steal it. You're just worried about your pace on this one. Let's go. Try to get as slow as you can. Count your dribbles, get as little as possible. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Not bad. All right, couple things. We'll do it one more. Actually, did anybody count how many dribbles they got? 21. 21? Nobody else? All right, we'll do it one more time. Compete, whoever can get the least amount of dribbles on this one will get a point for the day. Thing to focus on here, again, slower. How does that happen? I bring it up maybe a little bit higher. I let that ball float in my hand. So I'm not just here with it, I'm float. Slow move. motion. Don't, don't worry about the feet, you can move around a little bit. Yep, you can move around your feet. Anything you need to go as slow as possible. Let's go. 15, 14. 13, three, two, one. Time, what we get? How many? 15? Anybody get lower than 15? Oh yeah, easy work. Point, <laughs> point. All right, now keep that same pace. All right, I'm challenging you guys to keep that same pace. We can all go fast with our dribble, I promise. Best players that I work with are at least able to go slower with their dribble. So keep that same pace, you guys will go now. So start that slow dribble just like you were. Now, almost like we did in the last one, whenever you go, so you can make kind of a quick, unpredictable move, you're slow, and then boom, when you get out of there, you're following going the opposite way. All right, so the goal is now what? Changing pace, right? You're going from as slow as you fucking can to getting downhill as fast as you can and reacting to that. All right, let's go for 40 seconds here. You guys are alternating who goes. Yep, make sure we got space. Make sure we got space. Oh yeah. Nice. Four seconds. Oh, try to throw them off a little bit. Challenge them. Now we're gonna work on moving out to the side a little bit with our dribble, all right? So let's say uh, we're going together here. I'm gonna be dribbling kind of as fast as I can in place, just challenging my handle. Whenever my partner, so I'll be the one in charge for this one, whenever I push out to the side, you're following me. Same side. Same side, right? So we're kind of here, like in place, just getting creative with it. Whenever I push out, you're following, I'm kind of resetting here. I don't have to go fast, I can kind of slow it down, boom. All right, boom, right back into it. I'm trying to create different ways to do this though. So I don't want every time just to be here. Maybe I throw in like a little, here, maybe I throw in like a pound into it. So I'm trying to come up with different ways to get out to the side, my partner follows. Make sense? Trying to lose them? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Right, so you're competing, trying to lose them. Let's go. Yep, to the side, to the side. Challenge yourself to move laterally. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, so I can only use a wrap dribble to get side to side. Easy. Otherwise, same thing. What's up? Here we go. Pound this direction. Yes, but try to get it a little bit more of a wrap where it's like around in here. So try to think about getting it in front of your body a little bit further. Yeah. In front of him. Switch partners, other partner up, other partner up. Keep going, keep going. Hey, right, now your goal is, so we'll play off the wrap again. So let me see one of those, thank you sir. We're playing off the wrap again. If I create some space from my, my partner, whatever, however you want to think about it, I can either push out or cross out of that. All right, so now it's kind of like the same thing where I can go and they follow. Where I'm here, I'm trying to shake them with that wrap. Maybe I see that I create some space and I get downhill. Or I'm kind of shifting them here. I see that they're moving this way, boom, I cross out of there. They go the opposite way. All right, then again, we flip it around. Other person is in charge. All right, so we're just alternating who goes out of that wrap. We got plenty of lines on this court. So let's say I'm starting on this line, this is up to you guys, and I'm gonna be racing my partner to 
that blue line. All right, so uh, let's get you two. Come up here. One partner will choose when to go. The other one is going to react to it. So you guys are both on this blue line, all right? So you're, yeah, you'll be on this one right here facing this way, all right? You'll have it in that outside hand. Let's say you're in charge. You go when he goes, all right? Again, you're racing to this blue line. If you can get in front of him yep. with the dribble, you win that one, all right? If you can keep him from getting in front of you, you win that one, you would get a point, all right? So your goal is to get in front of him on your way to this blue line, does that make sense? So just that initial burst, get out of there, try to create the angle to get in front of him. You're not, you're trying not to let that happen, all right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Not too wide, but make it at least reasonable, but yes, you can, yeah. However you wanna get out of there. Let's start off the dribble though, my bad. So you'll start off the dribble here, and whenever you wanna go, that's when you go. Not bad, all right? Really compete. Try not to let yourself get cut off. Again, whoever's on offense trying to cut them off, exactly. So most of the time you will get cut off. That's just the nature of them going first. But be physical. Try not to let that happen. Try to play around with different angles, all right? You guys will alternate every time. So you'll go, and then you'll go, and then you'll go, and then you'll go. All right, find a line. Let's build off of this. Let's go. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Good. What's up? Let's start off with dribbling or Yeah, start off a dribble. Start off a dribble. Nice. Yep, make sure we got space. Fight for position. Fight for there we go. Hey, right, bring it up real quick. Bring it up. Alright, what are we trying to work on there? A couple things. Some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. What are we trying to work on there? Yep. So kind of taking that angle to get in front. What else? Yeah? Yes. First step. Close, close yeah, contact. All right. You guys started to pick up the contact and the angle stuff really well. We'll go back to it. We'll switch it up a little bit. What I want you to focus on this time is the acceleration, the first step. All right. We're going to make a move out of there. What you'll realize is if I'm on offense, I'm going first. I can choose when I want to go. So you can really think about it. If you're on defense or the one who's not, or who's trying not to get cut off, your goal is to be as reactive as possible, all right? So think about even if you're the one who's reacting, you're trying to get out there as quickly as possible. That's gonna be your main focus on this one is how quickly you can accelerate out of there. On this one, we're gonna start in, so let's say we're going together here. All right, let me see the ball. Thank you, sir. All right, now we're gonna start in whatever hand we want to. We gotta make a move out of it, all right? So let's say I'm following you. You would have to switch hands with a move to get in front of me, all right? And then I can, yeah, I would have to do it as well. All right, so let's try it here. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. However you want to do that, it's going to be a little bit more difficult here because now we're switching hands. What's up? Yeah, for sure. Hopefully it's better than that one. Follow you. Follow me? Yep. Oh yeah. All right, so now it's gonna be again a little bit tougher because not only do we have to think about going but switching hands. All right, let's try it here, 30 seconds. We'll go one more and move on. Got you. Yep, get out of there quick. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, think about that first step. Punch that ground. Yeah, good. It's a little bit tougher on that one. All right, so you guys will be across from each other, both with the ball. All right, you're gonna make three moves. You gotta imitate those three moves, all right? So if I'm here with it, maybe I go one, two, three, all right? Now they have to follow that, do the exact same thing. So you're seeing what your partner's doing it, trying to mimic that same thing in the exact same way. So it's not just about the moves, it's about the pace of it, how they're shifting, how like even the littlest details of the moves, you guys are trying to copy that. Try to challenge them though. Don't just be here going one, two, three. All right, you're trying to do stuff that you know will be a little bit challenging for them to pick up. All right. What's up? Nah, don't worry about that. You don't have to do it in sync. So you wait for them to do it. All right, you're just kind of keeping your dribble alive in the meantime. As soon as you see them do those three moves, then you'll go. Then after that, you'll do three moves and he's got to follow. So you guys are going back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's see it. You can start. Yep, so wait for him to finish it. Don't worry about doing anything. So you'll just kind of keep that dribble alive in the meantime. Let's go. Yep. 
Good. Oh yeah. Now you'll go and you're following. All right. You can stay in the same place if you want. Stay stationary. You can move around. It's up to you guys. We got it. All right. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Oh. All right. Now I'm up again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You got it. All right, hop into it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we'll go finishing with contact for like 10 minutes. All right, we'll do some live stuff, work on it a little bit, come back to the live stuff. We'll go shooting for about 15, and then we'll hoop. All right, first one finishing with contact wise. Give me two to demonstrate. Any two. Nah, you guys have been demonstrating the whole time. Give me two more. Y'all too? Let's go, let's go. It won't hurt you, bro. All right, let's go. You guys are gonna be close to the basket here. All right, you'll have one ball between you two. All right, so I'll use that one real quick. How we're starting it is, you can choose whether you're on, actually we'll do this, I'll be on the outside. All right, you'll be on the inside here. We're gonna go shoulder to shoulder, so we're kinda right next to each other here. Whenever I bump him with my shoulder, your dribble count starts. You only have one dribble to score after that, all right? So I'm here, we have a little bit of space. Whenever I bump, it's live. I gotta find a way to get a bucket. However you want to is up to you. Either hand, either side of the rim. Doesn't matter to me. As long as you give that bump and you only take one more dribble to score. All right, you guys demonstrate for me. Let's go. Oh yeah. Bump. Nice. Yeah, there we go. I like it. good rep. We got it. Nice. No, I pushed you away. And then I just yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Bump him. Little extra dribble. Hey! Right, now, now listen up real quick. Same thing. If you get to the opposite side of the rim, you get two points. All right, start counting your points. Start counting your points. This side of the rim. Now you get two. Hey! Oh! So this is how we'll do it. He's gonna be holding the ball. He's on defense. All right, but you're kind of holding it out like this. All right? Exactly. Yep. Whenever I take the ball from him and go, I got to score along the baseline. I have to create contact though. Yep. All right? If I don't create contact, no point. All right? So however you want to do that, off one foot, off two feet, up to you guys. What's up? Even if you're ahead, slow down, try to create a bump. So you'll be here. I can go whenever I want to. I got to create that contact. Oh, and smoke delay almost. Uh, let's go two dribbles. You can take two dribbles if you want. Yeah. So here, one, two if you need to. All right? Let's go. Count your points on this one. Yeah! Yeah, that's good. As soon as you get that angle on him, just you try to be the one to initiate that bump, right? We're good. You guys give me Give me a couple options that you were using to finish with contact. So how are you doing that? How are you creating contact and finishing? Yeah, behind using your hips. Behind, yep. So if you get that initial one, you can kind of get in front and get into it. What else? Let's say I'll, I'll even set up the situation. So let's say, boom, you can come on defense here. Because I saw a good amount. So I just want you guys thinking about it and talking to each other about it so we can all start to share different ways to do it. All right, so let's say I get here. What's an easy way for me to get a good bucket out of this situation? Little bounce and stuff. Yep, so kind of this way, yeah. right? So one, one, to, or one thing to think about is that I can go here or I can kind of rotate here to close myself off. You can do either one of those. So I can bump shoulder or more kind of like back or like even the butt. What else? What else? Reverse, all right, so I can even bump and then get into reverse or I can bump and extend out here. That's one that I would suggest you guys try, at least try, it's tough, but again, give it a shot. What else? A couple more that I've seen you guys do. Nothing? Fade, yeah. 
right? You can do, I mean, there's a number of things you can do. I saw a couple of you guys try to bump here and then you kind of lost your balance. So you get into a fade, you kind of get into a pivot. A lot of you guys kind of got here and then pump fake with it, all right? Some of you guys even did this. I saw this once or twice where you're on defense here and you kind of got in front into like a little fade here the other side. So there are a lot of options here. My goal for you for the next two minutes is to do it a different way every time. So each time think about, all right, I'm going to try a different way to create contact and score each time. We got it? Uh, yes, try to, but it's up to you guys, however you want to score. All right, let's go. Two more minutes. Keep counting your points. Yeah, yep. Still two dribbles. Same thing. Just different thing every time. Different type every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like that. Nice, good angle, hell yeah. All right, balance shooting here. This one will be a little bit weird. I don't want you guys to shy away from this one. All right, let's try it out. Who wants to demonstrate this? Don't worry about it yet. You'll, you'll figure it out. Who wants to demonstrate? All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, perfect, you're gonna start, let's say three point line for now. You're gonna be on one foot with your eyes closed. All right, as his partner, I'm gonna push him in whatever direction I want to. All right, don't shy away. Every time I do this drill, what's up? Yeah, there we go, my guy. All right, so standing on one foot, all right, don't give him one of these. Although he did that, that's mad easy, all right? What I'm trying to do is challenge him. He doesn't know where he is. You're trying to get off that first step into it, all right? So you're kind of catching yourself here. Talk about balance. You're like, oh shit, where am I? I don't know where I'm being pushed. You gotta be able to plant and get up into it. All right, so don't be afraid to give him a real shove. I promise you guys, nobody's gonna get hurt. All right, try it again. Try to plant off that first step into it. Oh yeah. Wait, is he dribbling or not? Nah, no dribble. My bad. No dribble. All right. So you don't have to dribble. Is it a travel? Yes. Is it a drill? Yes. All right. So don't worry about dribbling it. You're really just trying to get into it, kind of catch yourself and up into that shot as quickly as you can. Challenge yourself. Challenge each other. We can go. We can use all this space on both sides. Let's go for three minutes here. Yo, these boys scared as shit to give contact. Oh no. Yeah. There we go. That's a real push. See, he didn't die. He didn't die. He's good. He's good. That's a good one. All right, do I have to be the... Oh, yeah, bro, just, just shove him. Act like you're mad. You guys aren't really shoving each other that hard. That's fine. All right, I get it. Next one here, you guys are gonna be facing this way, so don't worry about the partner kind of component to it. You guys will just rebound for each other. I'm trying to jump either this direction or this direction and rotate as I do that. So I'm trying to get here, or it's probably a little bit more challenging, this way into it as fast as I can, all right? It'll feel a little bit weird. There are a couple ways to progress this, make it more difficult if it's easy. You can jump further, you can do it faster. All right, you could rotate from all the way this way. I just want to get you guys comfortable with rotating and exaggerating that into the shot. All right, so again, I'll be here. I'm starting on either foot, but I'm rotating and getting into that shot as quickly as possible. You can make it easy if you want, right? You can be the guy who goes like this and shoots it, or you can actually use this time to your advantage, get better at it, and really try to push the speed, even if it's a little bit difficult. We got it, all right, so don't try to make shots as much. I know you guys can make shots for the most part. Try to challenge yourself to get on balance and then make the shot. The balance is the main thing that we're working towards. All right, let's try it out. Two minutes, two minutes. What's that last one? 
Like yeah, I mean it's 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 like you just said, like it's that old shit reflex where it's like. I saw that and I was like, what the fuck? I know. I, I know, I know. It's weird, yeah. but I mean you feel it when you're when especially when you're on one foot, your eyes are closed, and you just have to you have such a short window of time to figure it out and like create that balance that it's tough. And that's why I like having the eyes closed because I used to do it eyes open. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, I see you're about to push me. And you like it? But exactly. Yeah. So. I didn't was pushing my eyes closed. I felt like my balance is like really good on. That. Good. So like, good. What do you do to like really elevate that? To part? really elevate that? Yeah. I would say, oh shit. Number one, you can get him to push harder. I, don't, I didn't, honestly didn't see you guys, but there's always like yeah. that. Um, try this one. I want to see how you do on this one. Because okay. again, there's always going to be ways to just kind of like attack. Yeah. If that was easy, maybe you're not as good at rotating into it or something. Yeah. So okay. it's like different qualities within balance okay. that you can target. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 All right, yeah, let's, yeah. let's try it out. Yep. Rotate either way. I'm just gonna walk through, so if I'm here, am I going? So if I go left, am I going? It's up to you. You can go either way. So you could either go, like, I would probably suggest going right, left, like outside, inside. But you could also try it where if you turn this way, you're like inside, outside, here. Just mix it up. Mix it up. Exactly. Exactly. Mix up your footwork. Inside, outside, outside, inside, all those. There we go, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Yes. Let me get this one. Look good. Not bad. Now you're leaning into your partner going backwards. Alright, so let's say you're here, you're leaning into me. Alright, whenever I let go, you gotta find your balance. Get into that shot as quickly as you can. Alright, let's try it. Don't be afraid to lean, obviously not too much, but you're here, boom. You gotta find that balance into it. Perfect, that's what we want. We got it? Again, challenge each other. You can make it easy, you can stand straight up and be like, oh shit, or you can really challenge yourself. Let's go. Nice. Yes, there we go. Exactly, it's like a trust ball. Lean, 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 don't be afraid of it. Oh yeah, no dribbles. Yep, try to plant those feet, get into it quickly. Plant those feet, get right into it. Big lean, big lean, big lean. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, that's a good one though, that's what we want. Yeah, there we go. Yes sir. There we go. So maybe now you're like, all right, going backwards, I'm a little bit worse than going yeah. forwards. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just yeah, finding like sense. which qualities are the... Speed out as well. Good. Okay, good. good. Let, Let him lean. Let him lean. Let him lean. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, try to get it off a little quicker. Right, now you're leaning into the side. All right. I don't even have to show you guys this one. You're leaning, leaning, leaning. You can either get that outside foot down and out, or you can cross over here and get on balance. Same thing. Don't be afraid to really lean into them because we want to get ourselves at that angle and then kind of gather ourselves up into the shot. So I'm here, leaning, leaning, leaning. When they let go as quick as I can from here to upright into the shot. Make sense? Yeah. All right, let's try it out. One more minute, then we'll go live. So you'll just kind of let them go. So you'll be here, yep. you'll be here, and then just kind of step out of the way and oh, let them okay, go. No. That makes sense. Exactly. There we go. That's good. Big lean, big lean, big, really big lean here. That one. Keep leaning, keep leaning, keep leaning. There we go, that's what we want. And he made it, yes sir, that's perfect. All right, last one or two here. We'll try to kind of hurry through this to get a couple variations. Now it'll be live with defense, all right? So I'm going from the elbow. Defense is going from the opposite elbow, all right? So, or maybe, yeah, we'll go opposite elbow. All right, so let's get a defender right here. As soon as I leave, he can chase me down. I have to turn with any dribble I want or any move I want. 180 degrees, get face towards the basket. So I'm here, I'm going boom into it. All right, if that's too difficult, you can take out that move. I know that's difficult. If you can get it, perfect, challenge yourself. If that's too difficult, I would maybe opt for just like a quick turn or even turning the other way. So find the level of difficulty that works for you. The only real rule is that you have to turn 180 degrees. Whenever I go, he can go. So I'll be here, all right? Whenever I go, I'm into it. He can try to block or contest that shot. What's up? I said he went be on the back on your turn. I know, I was trying to, trying to not fuck up. Good, we got it? All right, let's go both elbows here. Let's get through this quick, let's go. 
I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, not easy. Yeah! Oh yeah! Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As always, hopefully you picked something up from this video that you can apply into your own training. Make sure to comment, let me know what skills you want to see me work on, what players to break down, what concepts to talk about, all that stuff. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more like this. And also check out our virtual academy where we have programs where you can train like this. Thanks for tuning in.